Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to test recording time for ZV-E10 and ZV-1. Both camera connected to external power supply. Okay, now we set up the camera format. First, the testing we do 4K and uh, put uh, standard power temperature of the limit. Now we start in the testing. Yeah, we pass uh, um, around five minutes and everything looks okay and keep going now um it's about 18 minutes uh both camera show up overheat uh, remind signal um indicator over there you can see and then after that um the boss boss camera got uh, the same sign that mo almost the uh, same time this is a uh, the highest resolution for video and the uh, standard uh, turn off uh, power temperature okay both cameras stop at uh, 25 minutes around that time Okay, and uh, after this, we do the uh, second test. The second test, we're going to put a low resolution mode and uh, high uh, turn off temperature setup. Okay, that's the setup. Uh, Okay, let's become to um, HD and uh, high temperature for power off temperature. Okay, now we start uh, testing again. It's supposed to be a little bit longer than uh, the previous setup. It's past uh, 13 minutes and still keep going. So far, so good. Okay, past 35 minutes, 40. It looks like it's not going to stop. And uh, just keep, my goal is uh, about 90 minutes, about an hour and a half. It's one hour, okay. Uh, so, uh, both, uh, eventually both camera pass uh, one hour, 30 minutes. Um, I'm gonna stop there and this work fine. Then uh, they might run more because uh, they not showing any uh, overheat uh, sign there. So it's gonna be uh, keep going. Now it's about uh, an hour and 30 minutes. So we're okay. So after this, we're going to do um next test. We go back to a high uh, resolution 4K and uh, put uh, power off temperature to high. So we see how was the result.
Okay, we start to uh, boss camera again. Um, the ZV1, I just uh, cool down a little bit, um, start over, so that's why you see two pictures there. But the result is the same thing. Um, the first testing was keep going because uh, the ZV1 already pretty hot. But the uh, ZV E10 uh, looks like it's not that bad. So that's uh, ZV E10 is continuously uh, testing uh, for a whole um, period but uh, the ZV1 I have to uh, put it down now okay see um, about uh, 20 they going to stop at around uh, 28 minutes As you see um, they cannot go over so Uh, pretty much um, the ZV-1 is going to like uh, the setup there pretty much is like uh, what we have the high temperature if we put uh, high resolution 4k this going to about uh, recording time is going to about uh, half hour uh, not big different and it looks like uh, um, the ZVE10 still keep going and there's no any um, indicate say it's overheat so far so good okay um ZV1 stop at uh, 28 minutes you see the Okay, it stopped. And the uh, ZV E10 is keep going. Okay, now it's about an uh, hour and a half, and the uh, ZV E10 still keep going. And uh, Okay, I'm gonna stop the testing. It's good enough for normal use, um, from uh, my point of view. Um, it's gonna be longer than what we have right now. Okay, that's uh, the conclusion. Um, yes, the uh, GVE 10 is a um, little bit better than uh, ZV1 um, for uh, 4K. Um, set up you can got uh, about an hour and a half recording time more than half an hour and a half recording time okay um the, thank you for watching and I hope this video can help you a little bit to understand the, uh, the, the camera see you next time bye bye